So in this video, I am going to show you how you set up your smart TV box. This is an Android powered box. And I did do a video where I did an unboxing and we went through the contents. So let's get right to it. So let's take the stuff out the box. Here's our Android box. There's a power supply in here and there's a HDMI cable. That's great. So what we do, we find a free HDMI port on the back of the television. We're gonna plug in our HDMI cable. I'm gonna use HDMI port number one. Next, we take the power supply for the box. Plug that into an available wall outlet with power. So here at the box, here is the HDMI port cable. You plug that into this one. It says HD on the box. And we take the power and plug that into this port right here on the far left hand side. And we place this nicely facing forward like that. So there you can see relative to the TV I have it right here. That's the front, all the ports are in the back. And this is like this so that the remote control can send the signals, control the box, right? That way you can surf your channels and all that cool stuff. Now this is the remote that I will be using to control that box, right? It's a very simple remote. And yeah, I have like an overview of this remote in the previous video when I did the unboxing, but it's a pretty intuitive remote, pretty simple to use. Okay, so what we do now, we're gonna turn on the power, power on the device, the set-top box. There we go. Android TV. We'll just do it until the OS is fully booted up. So until it boots up, you can enjoy this very lovely show of graphics here. With the four colors, and then you see here, Android. And here is our default home screen. And let me just give you a quick overview of what you see here. So you can navigate and see your app list. You can see all the apps that you have currently installed. All right, so we have a couple, all the popular ones like Netflix, YouTube, <coughs> excuse me. You have the VLC player, so you can play your multimedia, you can play MP3 music. There's Prime Video already pre-installed. Um, you can see it here. The most important one, I believe, is the Play Store, because you'll need that to download uh, any other applications. And if, uh, if you have, and I'm going to show you, I'm subscribed to a, t a TV streaming service. So I need to get their app from the Play Store. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, but let's get out of there. So that's apps. And uh, the Google Play Store is already pre-installed. It's great. I have a recommended apps page as well here. And here's our file manager. So it's like here you can access. So if you plugged in um, a USB stick into this, into one of the USB ports on this box, you can then get access to your pictures on here and music and videos, right? And they have the categories right there, video, picture, music. And I believe though too, it, when the when your memory stick is scanned for files, it will automatically put, if it detects music files, pictures or videos, it will put them into these categories by default, right? So let's get out of here. Now what I wanna show you is how I'm going to, how to set up, um, uh, access your local streaming service. So in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your, if, if you're in Canada, uh, your Bell 5 um, TV connection on an Android box. So if I go here to the Google Play Store, and you know what's gonna happen? It shouldn't work because I need to do what? I need to set up my Wi-Fi. So let's do that first. So I'm gonna go over to settings, click on settings, and then I'm going to Click on network and internet. Turn on the Wi-Fi. It's gonna search for available networks. And then there are some networks there. I'm going to log in to my Wi-Fi. So I'll pause this video while I do the login in. So I connected successfully to my Wi-Fi. Now what I'm going to do, now I've successfully connected to my Wi-Fi. I can now go into the Google Play Store here. What I'm gonna do is sign into my local, my Google account. 
Okay, now you successfully signed into the Google Play Store. And there's a bunch of cool apps you can download. Crave, Paramount, Prime TV, which we have. We have some Canadian ones there as well. Um, TikTok, everything's here. Uh, and there's also games in here that you can play on this um, straight off the bat. Um, and uh, But I'm gonna get right to it. I'm looking for the Bell by TV app. So let's go search. Now, by the way, this does come with a, lot, uh, a couple of USB ports, so you can hook up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to this thing, and uh, then you can, you can use a keyboard and mouse, which makes searching for things, typing, using stuff on here much easier. Um, so I'm just using my um, the remote, so I'm just gonna type in Bell, what is it, B-E-L-L. So Bell 5 is a streaming service here in Canada. Yep, obviously yes, we have to have an active account, which I do. Oh, there it is, Bell 5 TV, there we go. So I'm gonna go select that one. Install. So we wait for a bit while it downloads the app and installs it on the Android box. It's pretty quick. Now my Bell Fi TV account is linked to my Gmail account or I should say to my Google account. So the fact that I already logged into the Google Play Store using that same account and I um, downloaded the app, when I start this app, I don't need to log in again, right? It's like single sign on. I've already signed on uh, to the box. So I should get instant access to the Bell Fi TV service. So now it's installed, I'm going to click open. And see Bell here coming up. And we should be good to go in a couple of seconds. So here we have the Bell 5 TV service up and running. Uh, there's what's trending. And I can go down here. You see top movie rentals, what's featured, new releases. And then I usually just go right to the guide. And the guide here shows me everything that I have access to right now. Right? Everything is here. And I am good to go. So as you can see, I didn't have to re-log into the Bell app. It already detected through single sign-on that I uh, logged into my Google account. Right, to access the, the Google Play Store. So because of single sign-on, right, I just had to download the app and run it, and we're here, here we are. So guys, that's the setup of the Android box and how you can get access to apps through the Google Play Store and how you can log into your, your streaming service, assuming that the app is available on the Google Play Store. So guys, let me know what you think about these boxes. Um, they're pretty small, lightweight, out of the way, and yeah, it gives you great access to your streaming content. And, and these boxes are very cheap, by the way, like a couple of bucks, literally. Um, so yeah, check the link below if you wanna learn more about these boxes, and in particular this one I'm showcasing right now. And anyway, guys, till next time, stay safe and happy gaming. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you like this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I am appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.